Good morning to all. Happy to be here for uh, this TEDx uh, and uh, thank the organizers, Common Engineering College, uh, for inviting me. I'm not going to talk anything about oncology today, because uh, which I have been doing for the last so many years in uh, various uh, forums. But the talk will be confined to what is life, which I see not based on any modules and not based on any scripts, but uh, the real lives which has touched my life and uh, just uh, changed my life also. As depicted here, I think uh, that's a summer, there's a drought in everybody's life. But uh, coming out of that, flowering, I think that is where you are uh, labeled as successful. I too was in the same boat, the same boat. And uh, to be frank, I reached a profession which I never wanted to. I was uh, more interested in learning mathematics and uh, used to sleep off uh, during the biology class. But uh, fate, I can put it across, made me land into the field of medicine and in the field of oncology. What I wanted to become in future when I was a child was uh, a railway guard. And uh, hearing my ambition, knowing it now, one of my patients has drawn a beautiful picture, uh, which was presented to me recently, saying as a Ganga Express. So I also started my career uh, in the uh, shared darkness. What to do, how to go ahead, especially after finishing my MBBS. But uh, the last 35 years in the field of oncology has taught me not oncology, but what is life in oncology. The change, that's what I'm going to tell you now. And that is infinite. That means uh, it goes on, goes on, goes on. Introducing uh, the person who is sitting uh, with a beard, that is uh, Ebi. Ebi is an artist, world-renowned artist. And I think I can show you some of his uh, pictures, uh, which is going to be shown. Just imagine whether you can ever, ever think of drawing a picture like this. And uh, last but not the least, this again is picture. I think you can uh, read the last part. Art can care. You know why? He was crippled in 2007. The cancer called as myeloma. He cannot even uh, I mean, uh, lift his hands, not able to stand up. Imagine uh, how he's going to go through the profession. So what he used to tell and was he used to speak in various forums were, till 2007, all the pictures which he drew are his signatures, his signatures. After 2009, when he was out of the disease, there is one more signature down my signature or above my signature. And that signature is the signature of an oncologist who brought him back to life. I think a beautiful comment, beautiful comment. But he has taught us saying that don't, uh, I mean, leave back, go, 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 go. You had to go ahead. I think you can come back to life. He's a marathon uh, runner, marathon runner. He was uh, diagnosed as uh, leukemia in 2019. And very intensive uh, course of chemotherapy. After the treatment, uh, when he was just getting out of the hospital, he came and asked me, <clears throat> can I run a marathon after two months? Just imagine about uh, four to six months of hectic chemotherapy going out. And the only question he asked was the running about the marathon. I said, go ahead. And uh, he ran a marathon in Muatipura, 55 kilometers. I was a witness for that. I was a witness for that. So again, he also wanted to come back, come back flowering. That is his second one. 
Now, among this, one person was treated in 1970, 1994 with a bone tumor, leg amputated, and she was doing his final year nursing. She had treatment, went back, completed her treatment, and she is working as the head of cardiac ICU in a hospital in Mancheri. And that's the person who is uh, holding my hand and standing. And uh, her husband is nearby. So she also never went back. She also never went back. She has come out fully successful and leading a blooming life. And uh, the next person is very interesting. He must be looking like uh, maybe in his 50s or at the most 60s. But he is uh, 83 plus. Last year, he wrote an entrance exam in IIT for logistics. For logistics. In fact, he was, uh, he was entering the examination hall and uh, the security stopped him saying that you have come uh, personal session for someone else. That means you are writing for somebody else. So we won't allow. So he has to get a special permission. Go ahead, wrote the exam and came successful. And he was facilitated uh, in the uh, last month in uh, IIT Madras for the eldest person studying in that IIT. Till that time it was 70 years. And he is 83 plus and his son also joined for the same course. Son left the course after about 2-3 months. And uh, the son comes and describes that he will get up at 4 o'clock. He start reading. And if he loses one mark, he feels bad. And immediately he said, there is a difference between generation. He said, if I lose one mark, I feel bad. Whereas my son feels good if he gets one mark. And that is a comment. It's not my comment, but it's his comment. So one more person here. And uh, the next person I think uh, is uh, known to you very well. This is Siddhar Shiva. A versatile uh, film director, actor and what not. Who has awarded, uh, who has, uh, you mean, received about two or three national awards for the direction. Siddharth also was uh, having a disease which was treated about uh, 17 years back. And you can see him enjoying his life now. Recently he has done a PhD from uh, MG University. And uh, another person. He was uh, doing a sixth standard. He's from Assam. His uh, father was working in SBA in, uh, in uh, Cochin. So he came here for treatment. Again uh, with a bone tumor. So once he finished the treatment, I asked him, what do you want to become in the future? He had only one answer. He said, I want to become a doctor. And he has done his MBBS and is doing internship now back in Assam. Yeah, she's, uh, she's from Kanjarepalli, called Jaimol. I can tell them because they are all, they all said you can disclose their names, where they are now, everything can be done, no problem. Jaimol, according to him, according to her, she said she was an introvert. Never going out of his house, not mixing with people. And uh, she had a leukemia. Once she finished the treatment and went back, she became a busy girl, very busy girl. And what she is doing now, you can see, uh, she is uh, actually uh, running a shop, running a shop in uh, close to Kanjarepalli. This is her shop, busy girl, beautiful shop. And uh, she makes these uh, I mean garments, she designs the garments and she sells them. And uh, not only in uh, India, but outside also. There are a lot of customers who are coming from outside. Think of an introvert who was uh, back in the back door of her life, coming out and uh, coming successful in life. Annie. Annie, sir, from Tiruvilla. She and her husband, immediately after their marriage, they left for Kuwait. And at that time, uh, she was diagnosed as having an ovarian tumor. Came back and uh, according to her, she didn't know as to what to do next. 
went through the treatment, opened a small shop between Thiruvella and Mallapalli, flourishing. The business is flourishing, not because that I went and inaugurated it, but uh, I think uh, it went on, went on, and showing perfectly uh, I mean, living life now with uh, two children. Last but not the least, we had a doctor. He was doing his uh, secondary MBBS when he was again diagnosed with a leukemia. And purposefully only I, I put this uh, slides because he was fully supported, looked after by his classmates from Calicut. Fully by his classmates. They pulled him out of the disease, went back, he did his MBBS, empty general medicine and he is working in Manjeri Medical College as an associate professor in general medicine now. Yes, they have fought against their disease, came out successful and back to normal life. That is where I think I have been going through the last so many years, which uh, took me from darkness to brightness. But there are a lot of things which you can learn from each one of them because in their own field. That is one part of the story. That means life is infinite. Don't uh, put a full stop by being a uh, going for a problem at some point of time, by a crisis at that point of time, it's only a temporary full stop. Not a full stop, temporary stop. Where you can uh, jump across and go further. The next part of the story comes like what they give back to us. That means love is again infinite. Four-year-old uh, Jasir. Following treatment is going back. And for my birthday, he has done a beautiful picture of Dr. V. P. Engel, what was in his mind. I think it's a beautiful picture. And uh, what according to him is, this is Dr. Gangal. But as age advances, I think the picture changes. The picture goes on changing and you can see how, how, how they, they interpret us and how they picture us and how they carry us over their mind, or on their minds. And the place which they give to us is not something which I have made, I think sent to me. This is where they lead us to. They lead us to, I think, uh, giving back much more than what you have given to them. And you can see the depth of, uh, you mean, uh, the love from his soul. It's not so, it's so. That means he's, a, he's, a, he's again a four-year-old boy from Bangalore. And uh, he's sending this putting his uh, imprint and saying that he loves me. And here is uh, one more person you can, uh, one girl. I was, uh, in, I was in uh, choice school for a program and one girl came to my side and said, slowly she stood uh, by my side and said, thank you very much. And uh, I didn't uh, recognize initially. Then after some time she is bringing this and telling, you saved uh, my father. What else do you want in life? That's uh, to be to be honest. I think uh, that is what keeps us going. And uh, one more, one more is uh, there's a girl. See, she's tattooing VPG and going ahead. I didn't mean to say that I'm great. I want to tell you that there is a love, there's an affection, there's an infinite love which takes you throughout your life. And we have got uh, two beautiful programs called Kalikutam and Communion where we all meet. Kalikutam is uh, for the children and communion is for the adults. You can see how we enjoy the Kalikutam and communion. I think uh, this is how we enjoy. You can see thousands of people coming for that and you can see the audience also who are all there enjoying, enjoying that. <laughs>
they call me San Ganga and I also call them as mothers. This is uh, something which, has, uh, which I have gained the last 35 years and these are all what I have in my account book. And uh, there is uh, no TDS, uh, there is no tax. I think uh, it's uh, just love that is uh, creeping in. And the question automatically comes. I'm in bright light now. Somebody asked me, are you happy with your profession? 100%. So your life, 100%. And do you have any complaints? I said, no. Because if I start complaining, then I think when you're one of them. I had no right to complain because they have all gone through problems much, much, much more uh, tougher than what I, I face. And that's so the question what time it becomes. Is it uh, okay that uh, uh, professional loan? No. No. It's absolutely no. Movies? Yes, you have to go for movies. Vijay has uh, new movie has released. Go. You have to go and see. You have to go and see. And uh, I think a uh, lot of, I know, Tovino students come. Yes, you have to go and say. Like that, life is complete only when, uh, not only profession, your uh, sports, uh, your, uh, you, you saw somebody performing today. I think she has to carry on. She has to carry on. Not with the professional role. And what more? I think uh, then only the life becomes complete. And uh, so the, in the, uh, in a, uh, I mean, uh, screen, if you say, Profession is only in the middle, small part. The rest all has to be there for it to be a complete screen. And then the question comes automatically. The question is uh, like, uh, who is successful in life? Financially, thousands of loom malls. Do you think uh, that's the criteria for your success? Or do you think that uh, your position in life? Or do you think that uh, professionally you are very high? Is it enough? Or is it to say somebody is successful in life? I think you can gauge with each one. And they based on what is your criteria, you can uh, label everyone. Yes, they are successful. But my gauge is totally different. I gauge uh, success in life as, uh, as totally different. And uh, I always say that if there is somebody to pray for you in a temple, mosque, church, without you asking for that, then you are a complete man. Your life is complete. Health is equally important. So no smoking, no alcohol, good diet, good exercise. I think you are going to be a successful man if your mind is very clear. And that is where I think I stop telling that life is beautiful. Life is infinite. And uh, love is again infinite. And that is the importance of your TEDx today much more than your profession. Thank you. Thank you for that.